Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is for trading on Friday, April the 29th, 2016. Just wanted to point out a few things here. Uh, just remember that it is Friday, and we call that Take Back Friday. So markets could experience some profit taking, especially those that have run up in price and likewise those that have run down in price right now you're looking at a chart of the gold futures contract and as you can see the market did blast higher uh, overnight uh, hitting uh, 1283.70 the thing about this week's trading is that these moves came late in the week so you had to wait until like Wednesday night, Thursday morning in order to see the moves. Most of these moves came and happened yesterday. So in the process, you may have been getting chopped up, whatever. And, you know, the thing about trading is you, you got you got to hang in there. You, you got to take every trade. You got to take every signal because that next one that you miss is the one that would have made you whole or put you deep in the black. So just remember that and it's also good to um, use you know tight money management good stops I like volatility stops because volatility stops will ebb and flow with the volatility in the market so sometimes they're wider sometimes they're they're tighter the risk with the tight stops is that sometimes you get stopped out a lot but if you it, it's designed so that you can hang in there and not get your face ripped off while you're waiting while you're in that that washing machine that churning market that's just whips on back and forth you still got to be in it because the only way you'll prosper when the markets break out or break down is you got to be in the trade so if that makes any sense so here with the gold as you can see on the hourly chart if you go back to uh, earlier during the week as I was saying when it was just whipsawing back and forth uh, you know Mark was trying to take your head off but you just had to stay in there with it and use the volatility stop and here we go market started breaking out like I said uh, Wednesday night into and Thursday and then here we go nice long continuation and that was it here here we are Thursday all day up and then here we are flatlining now People taking some money off the table. I expect today to be more of a um, take back Friday. So just be aware of that. We could see some profit taking here. But um, I would not be surprised if we close uh, above the 12, the 1280 handle today. As the market is going to try to take out this 1289.70, which is our high. The market is going to try to take that out. Uh, and that's our past high that we hit back on um, the week of March the 10th of this year where we topped out at 1289.70 currently the market um, this morning just hit 1283.70 so not far from that high and a good close here we can close uh, anywhere above this 1280 mark we'll be looking good alright so nice run right now for the gold and let's take a look at silver real quick all right all right and here's silver silver's finally trying to do something too trying to break out we hit 1793.20 this morning so that's a new high here and right now we're at uh, 1781 nice nice strong close uh this week would also uh bode well for prices going into next week as you can see outside the kumo cloud nice support at the seventeen dollar mark and it's still possible that we could see a little profit taken uh, going into the close today market is trying to lock in this uptrend all right as you can see it's locking in all right three weeks in a row now and technically if you want to count this one you you, you you could so four weeks this will be the fourth week if we close up here four week fourth week of, of higher closes which is great um, you know as far as momentum is concerned and volume picking up too so we're doing it on stronger volume see these past week volumes but now we're getting stronger volume 
going into these moves, which is exactly, exactly what you want to see. All right, now we're going to pull up crude oil. Crude oil, like I said, is trying to bump up to the bottom of the Kumo cloud. It wants to get in it. Um, nice momentum here. It's trying to lock in also. All right, last time we saw something like this was back here. In the week of February the 15th of this year, we have one, two, three, four, five weeks in a row of bullishness. This is just the fourth week. So technically speaking, if all things being equal, we got one more week, which is next week, of rallying. And if we can measure the moves here, I would say we have at least another, I'll say, $4 to go. So we hit 46 62 and a half this morning. Uh, that would put us at that $50 handle. So $50 is our projected initial target for the close of next week's trading on Friday. All right, $50 is our target, and we'll look to reposition uh, in this market as well. For those of you who have been following the price triggers uh, on the blog, which is at uh, blogspot.pulsecan.com, those links or at the bottom of every video also you can follow on Twitter where I don't necessarily get a chance to do a video I will update on the blog and also post it uh, to Twitter so you have three ways to follow the Volcker report as um, I, I try to my best to do to put timely signals in there also um, another way to follow uh, the reports is to um, join the trading room all right uh, so if you want to join the trading room you can submit your request um, send me a, a, a private email my email address is also at the bottom of the video which is pulsecan72 at gmail.com and we can talk about that also uh, money management if you don't have time to trade and you would like to uh, prosper and benefit off of the moves that you're seeing here in these markets that are they're about to, to break out and break down unfortunately for the US uh, shoot me an email and we can uh, discuss that as well uh, one more thing I want to show you and that's on the stock indexes um, the Nikkei fell further last night and it's down another 215 right now and you can see this momentum is accelerating to the downside not looking good it's, it wants to come to this uh, 14 14935 support it wants to try to test that we're getting to the bottom now of this this old trading range where we had a false breakout up here a bull trap now it's coming back down the question is is this a precursor of what we're about to see in the US markets uh, the reason why we want to ask that is take a look here at the US market now keep in mind our markets are more manipulated than everybody else's here is our Russell Russell is below the Kumo cloud it is still very bearish and it's starting to look like a false breakout like that Russell um, I'm sorry like the Nikkei strong support here is at 1056 90 and it looks like it wants to try to come down here and test the first support at the uh, trend line at 1122.20 Next support is going to be at 1091 and then strong support at 1056.9. That's where we are right now in that Russell. And here is the Dow. And it seems that the NASDAQ is leading the bear right now. We'll see that in a second. Okay, the Dow is further away from its supports. Support, first support is at 17.131. And I'm sorry, make that 17.205, then 17.131 then 16676 if that breaks then we have no more support until we get way down here and the uh, 15,000 handle all right finally let's look at this uh, NASDAQ NASDAQ is trying to um, break below its trend line supports at 4355 and a half next support is not until 4157 that is a long drop but it's looking like it wants to go there and seems to be accelerating and picking up to the downside very nasty so this should bode well for the SQQQ and also for the TVIX especially leading into Monday so um, 
everyone have a wonderful trading day and a great weekend and remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered take what you can give nothing back